think I did everything. I'm not deafened anymore, right? I am not. You're not making any noise, though, because you muted yourself. Definitely didn't happen. <laughs> better, I think you're crazy, bud. Probably, but... Uh, Definitely unmuted this whole time. I think the little mute icon in the corner popped up. But anyway, what's up, everybody? No, no, no. Episode 19. I actually thought it was 18 and almost went live with it, and then I went to double check <laughs> just in case, and thankfully I was right that I was wrong. <laughs> but uh, here we are, episode 19. Uh, gonna be a shorter one than than previous because not there were no matches because there was a bye week, but there is still news from the PPL to talk about. A few, few. A, little uh, a little bit. I mean, bigger. We can we can talk about the like the broader implication of that in general. I think you know. Also, I had a question for you, but I'll wait until we get to that. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. No, about the... Questions. About okay. the event. Okay, okay. But, um... Anyway, I'm still Kresnik. He's still G-Bunny. Splice G-Bunny. Splice G-Bunny, excuse me. Not in your Twitter handle, though. I wonder why. Yeah! <laughs> wait. <laughs> Land and U-Drama. We, we, we can mention that as well, but we're going to start with just, um... Wait, there's U-Drama? Apparently. I don't know. I figured chat chat always fills us in, dude. Every time we know like fifty percent of the stuff, <laughs> we know fifty percent of the stuff we come in to talk about, and then chat fills us in for the other fifty percent. <laughs> to be honest, it really happens more often than you think. But uh, one point six, it hit. It's fun. It's interesting. Interesting patch. Uh, I still think Dredge is uh, beyond OP and never going to be seen he... in uh, competitive play. Probably okay. For the next uh, few months. Listen, here's here's what I think about Dredge. I think he could be balanced with his kit similar to how it is, but Hurl, Hurl has to be changed. Be, her, oh, yeah. Hurl beyond, 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 beyond broken. Yeah, her, Hurl, here's what, what I'm thinking for Hurl is, like, and tell me if you agree or if you have your own idea. Either it just halves the cooldown, so it's like a seven-second cooldown, or it only gives you the cooldown if you hit the, the CDR. The one definitely hurts him a lot more, because, like, yeah. um... If it was, if you hit, you just instantly destroy shields every time you see him still, right? Yeah. So he's still going to be beyond broken. Like, a blaster with Wrecker and Caught is just, like, insane. His Caught is super inconsistent, though. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, it's definitely a lot more inconsistent than, like... Like Willow BK. Caught or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BK, Willow, like, Drovers, but, all the other blasters. But still, if you, like, see random on that hero, you're going to, like, just think, like, he's going to hit basically almost every single nade shot on me, right? Mm. So, like, at the highest level or high level... I see, like, the caught still not even being that big of a problem. Or, like, okay. applying the caught being a problem about his kit. But, um, it, like, Hurl's insane. I think Teleporter still has a lot of uses on some maps, especially with the uh, loadout with the jump. 100% on, like, uh, Split and Serpent. That's probably going to be legendary card to go in scrims and in uh, competitive play. Um, his uh, reload card isn't that bad too, right? Scuttle, it's um, okay. The, the issue is it makes dread pub my pub dredges all go deft hands. Yeah. And then it's just like, well, what are you really doing? <laughs> like, yeah. where's your utility? <laughs> just zoning. Yeah, he does have um reload speed in his. Yeah, but you have to use broadside for it. It's like after, I think it's like after you use broadside, it's like a forty percent bonus. But then like dredges still go deft hands. I don't know. You need to stack that up. Right? I guess. Uh, but yeah, Scuttle, I think it's okay. I don't think it's as good on big maps because it's kind of inconsistent at the projectile. Mm. Honestly, my biggest problem with him... Um, my biggest problem with him in terms of uh, just his balance in general, because obviously Hurl's going to get hit somehow, just because it's such a pump yeah. stomper, such a damage vomiter, um, is I don't like how good his weapons are, his weapon attacks are, when you miss. I think the fact that they, they still get so full like damage, yeah. yeah, like, and they explode so fast. Like, I'd rather them, like, the reason why Demoman in TF2 wasn't completely, like, his pipes weren't completely busted was because, like, once they hit the floor and, like, rest, mm -hmm. not only can they not direct you after they bounce, but they also do reduce damage. Uh, yeah, that, that would be uh, pretty uh, good this case scenario I, they mm -hmm. honestly should probably just add that because like he is doing way too much even without her like he's still going to be doing way 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 too much i think right now even though his ulti is pretty bad um he, he still has a lot of like insane matchups right like he absolutely demolishes nando like a lot of the strong off tanks like, yeah have an okay time with them it's it's usually like a 50 50 like 
as long as the tank is full HP and engaging onto Dredge, like, Dredge is going to die every single time, doesn't have movement to get out of it other than, like, having his teleport, like, really far away from him and just putting your teleport down and going back into it, that's, like, the only way to live. But if you get the jump on a tank or, like, the tank isn't paying attention... Oh, to yeah, you will shred you, them alive. Instantly dead. And, like, it's... It's good and it's bad. They just need to do something to Dredge Kit to, like, change it up. It feels like a con plus some. In my I don't know about that. I think it, it just feels like that in a pub is like a tank. Like some of the flanks eat him alive. Terminus eats him alive. Um, I mean, the flanks have to play scared though, right? Like, well, they they I always have to scared. against any blaster, other, other than like exclusively Andy into Drill Willow. Yeah. Like you're never gonna be like I'm just gonna walk at this BK and win, you know? Assuming it's a good mm. player, obviously. Yeah, but like Dredge, like his left click hurl does. How much damage? That's like uh, sixteen something, right? Sixteen fifty. If you if you left click and hurl, yeah. So you can um, if you left click hurl left click, it's like a lot of damage. Two, it's like twenty five hundred. It's twenty five hundred. Yeah. yeah. It's so, way above any flank. Um, I don't know. He just does so much. It's a really good hero. It just needs to not be. I, I think that the rollers need to do less damage. Maybe they can even mm -hmm. slow down his projectile speed and kind of set him up in that he's a zoner role because that definitely seems like what they're going for with him right obviously he's supposed to be a zoner yeah. with the broadside the harpoon slow and spam um and like the teleporter to be able to move forward to zone an area and then get out but like then the fact that his um his his pipes direct for so much damage they can combo with hurl like it really kind of counters like what his kit seems like they want him to do yeah and oh my his fucking loadout cards are so busted like, they are the best loadout cards for any hero. Like, he has, uh, Curl, the, uh, Harpoon giving you ammo. Like, there's just so many dumb things. That's only good because of Hurl, though. Because, like, that That's would be so good. bad if Hurl, if you, when you don't yeah. run Hurl, that card is a liability. Yeah, that card's definitely bad. The shields doing, or your Harpoon do, doing mm -hmm. shield damage. Harpoon's healing you. That, I think, no matter what, even without Hurl, because that's, um... It's just 3,800 yeah, bursts. But, like, think, only, Matt, you're putting yeah. five points into a 15-second cooldown to make that better into shields. What if you just bought Wrecker and then spammed left-click? Think about his left-click. <laughs> like... The thing is, though, like, so you're spending five loadout cards to have good matchups into tanks that you wouldn't have good matchups into, right? So, like, you're trading... But is it a good, but is it a good matchup? Like, when you're, um... Well, like, say if you're against a Nando or a Ruckus, right? Mm -hmm. Your uh, Harpoon cooldown is going to be basically on the same cooldown as the Nando shield. A little bit uh, longer than the Ruckus shield. But, like, you're going to have caught with it, too. Like, It's good into I the Ruckus, it will... but I don't think yeah. it's into the Nando. Because it only takes away half the Nando shield. Yeah, it's just half of it. It doesn't insta-give it. It's only 3,800. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot, though. I mean, if any other person is looking at it... So, like, how many left clicks is it in a harpoon? That'd be, like, three or four left clicks, right? In one, like, in a, a, in, thir one. In, a in a max wrecker harpoon? Well, no wrecker left clicks and a max uh, wrecker harpoon. With hurl or without hurl? Without hurl. It'll be only one harpoon and just left clicks. It's, like, four or five left clicks plus the harpoon. I mean, that's still, like, three seconds, two seconds, and mm -hmm. you're getting rid of, like, NATO's best thing about him. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit too much that loadout card. Maybe. Like, I think it, it'll be way, it'll easy. feel way better once Hurl is nerfed somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Hurl, it's beyond busted. Maybe it's going to be fine without Hurl being in into it, but I, I think, like, too much for me right now. Mm -hmm. Giving it, him way too many uh things to go down, or, like, too many roots. I, I actually think his loadout cards are, like, his loadout cards are gonna seem way less powerful once Hurl is is nerfed because like what are his why are his loadout cards good? The shield melt card, the harpoon heal card, the harpoon ammo card, right? All of those are not gonna be good once once Hurl is gone. The jump one's going to be good on high map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. HP the, in general is still good. Yeah, the, the the shield when he's low is good. The broadside reload speed card is okay. I actually kind of I actually like and I think this card's a little underrated right now. The broadside reveal card. Really. I think it's okay. I think it's kind of interesting because like you can zone an area and then you can see if someone's waiting to come through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if you if you max that out once because you're gonna yeah. have room, you know. Yeah, you'll have loadout points. It's a team wide reveal too. But you could just spam that around a corner and see around the corner because it's like it's like yeah. within fifty feet. I think it's like a flare. That seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like yeah, so like imagine BK's cards compared to freaking him. Like 
BK has like three valuable like cards that are like actually good. Like flat HP is one of those like good cards. No, BK like, has BK has a couple good cards, I think. I mean, he has Joel HP. What else? Backdraft. What is backdraft? Uh, Poppy cooldown every sticky you get. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think that one's good personally. Some uh, people yeah. are people are half and half. Relo uh, Royal decree, reload speed on debts. But, like, I, I feel like it's just, like, nothing compared to what Dredge has. Or at least, like, mm -hmm. half of what Dredge has. Yeah, it'll be a lot more fair once Hurl is fixed. But mm -hmm. as of right now, yeah, I completely agree. It definitely seems over He really, They really so, need to do something about the rollers. The rollers are, are the biggest problem, I think, on him. So it's either they take out Hurl, which they're probably not going to do, or, they, like, they put it to the half cooldown. With half cooldown, do you think it's still broken? No. I don't think so, right? No? Well, no, seven, seven seconds between Harpoons? I don't think that's broken. Do you, so, so you would use that. So you would match for ruckus shield cooldown, right? Yeah. The Nando shield cooldown doesn't matter for who else has big shields. Koa Fortress Breaker Ash, it would be okay with. Mm -hmm. it, it does so four. Like, it's five, yeah. four sixths, two thirds of a Koa shield. Yeah, so I guess it's not too insane if you have it. Yeah, but and one. It, yeah, and if you just if you though. just get wrecker, think about how fast you'll melt shields with just your left clicks. You know. Put a broadside behind them, start melting their shield up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I would like to have cooldown on it. It'd be interesting to see if the uh, reload card, or the uh, three extra points on each harpoon hit, would be still used on that. Maybe, I don't Seven know. seconds? I... Seems decent. Good against solo tank, but not double tank? I can see that. Because then, yeah, but like, because you, you won't have enough utility to take up both tank shields. Like, they'll pressure you out before then. Gotta remember that unless you're running like a full health build, Dredge can be pushed pretty hard. And if you're running a full health build, then you don't have the Wrecker Harpoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting to see where, where Dredge will go after mm -hmm. he gets nerfed. Because, like, 100% getting nerfed. There's no way he isn't. Like, with how many people that are complaining about him and, like, how overtuned I think he actually is, I think they probably noticed it by now, but we'll see. What's Look gonna happen is bit. the nerf, the, the, the Hurl is gonna get hit right away, I think. And um, then later they'll nerf probably his either just his direct damage in general, like his rollers, um, or they'll nerf. And then I think down the road, they will nerf Freebooter. Just because that's... No one's scrimming with it yet, obviously, because no one's playing with it, but PPL will be scrimming with it in, what, two weeks? Probably? Because ass we're assuming Dredge is going to be playable well, yeah, on LAN. I've heard that he is. I don't know for sure. Well, I mean, it's a whole month. You know. Yeah, yeah, it is a whole month after he comes out. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll probably be what one point eight by then, assuming we're still because they're on a two week schedule I think right 1. now, right? Seven is what he's supposed supposedly land patch. I don't know for sure though. Okay. I think one point seven. Okay. At uh, one point seven. Oh, we don't know what one point seven is even gonna be. Well, I mean, we know yeah. it's gonna have Navi Damba. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, and Mixer Khan, which we can talk about in a little bit. Um. Other impacts would be the Furia change. Yeah, I think like the Furia change is like the only one that I've noticed personally. Like the um. Are you like, didn't notice the extra hundred fifty damage on Ash's bo boob? <laughs> <laughs> that big big change, <sighs> big talus buff. But yeah, uh, that one actually, it's pretty good. Really? Yeah. I, I guess I haven't really seen it at all, but um, hmm. that's a whole other problem. But uh, not been playing with any yeah. scrims. Oh no, no, I haven't been able to scrim that much lately. Just okay. unfortunate things. But uh, Sephiria, yeah. Um, right click nerf. That actually hurt it hard, like really hard. It's 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 definitely hard. noticeable. It's noticeable. Yeah, like she used to be like a free insta win almost, right? Like for second, like um, for second pick basically, like it was just a free win if she was open. Like getting her that first rotation was so good and just gave you so much momentum in the draft but now mm -hmm. like with the willow counter that's still very viable right now and the leon, leon counter yeah. there's like there's actually ways to deal with it and her healing output actually gets rocked by that shit and that one second actually helps out so much so yeah balance team actually did really good i thought they messed up on this balance change but i think they did a really good job yeah she's still good yeah she's still really good but um they didn't absolutely destroy the hero they had her have a specific kit where, like, she's going to be in aggressive comps. Comps that can either use the beam. I don't think Cherish is, like, runnable now, so it's going to be only comps that can use the beam and that can use the ulti well, mm -hmm. which is really good. And plus one on the uh, balance sheet right yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, that was their original goal with her. I mean, that's what 
uh, they said in the dev update. That's what they told us when we uh, saw her early when we did a, took a tour of the studio. Um, mm-hmm. That's always been kind of the goal uh, for Furia, uh, to be a healer for those aggressive comms. And, like, the ult was clearly the part of it, but the fact that she had such potent healing on top of all that. Yeah. Yeah. It was... Uh, it definitely actually they maybe they'll nerf solar blessing put it back to how it used to be because uh when they showed us it in dev it didn't stop it just kept it just really? kept yeah it just kept going wow that would be busted i mean that would that would like make it bad probably that would make it really bad. Well, you'd get healed you'd get like pretty much healed to full if you're not if you're uncaught dude, there would be certain mass where that would be so fun to use like serpent beach just oh yeah just beam from running. below <laughs> Just straight up running with the beam and vulnerable. <laughs> you wouldn't be going fast be... enough. You can barely, you barely keep up with it. With I, I had to surf Dude, five to catch up three. to it. I, I, I had to do a surf five shell spin to catch it once. <laughs> like you'd have to, you'd have to be running Davy Jones locker, and like that'd still be too slow. Uh, what yeah. other, what other changes were there? The Talos one is actually not bad. I don't know. I, I, I pumped with it a little bit today. He definitely feels a lot more lethal at range, like at like medium range. Like if your tracking is good, it's like. Before you were like, there's a you know like a fly on me, but um, now that it's it's noticeable, I think Talos is it's like 60 per tick at like medium range now, mm-hmm. so it's like you know like his normal firing rate uh, at 60, it, it's it's respectable damage. Mm-hmm. Andy punch not registering. Does it still not register? I I, ha- I haven't played too much Andy. Yeah, I have no clue about the Andy. Um... Defiant fist buff. You max out at like what fourteen hundred damage. I, uh, <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever read that legendary card or know what it does. Every okay, it's every shot that you hit gives you a stack of a damage buff on your punch, and sacks it. Now it used to sack at ten percent per shot. Now it sacks at fifteen percent per shot. So if you hit six shots, uh, your next punch will do ninety percent more damage. That seems so troll. It's pretty awful. But, like, imagine starting a fight where you sneak up on someone and, like, hit them for 1,400 with one punch. 1,400 headshot, just... Whew. But remember, that that's not even, like... you. I think you'd still live, because that's not a heads will roll headshot. It's a regular yeah, headshot. Yeah, it would only do, like... It would do, like, 20... Right? It would, yeah, it would... No, no, it would do, like, 2,200 damage. So, like, the tankier well, DPSs about, would like, still the... live. I was talking about the, the full punch, a full punch, and the headshot will still be like... Actually, no, because it's only 90% if you hit every shot. Because it's um, 15, 15 times 6. Oh. So it's 90%. You have to hit another shot to get the 1,400. <laughs> so if you, have, if you have a full clip worth of stacks, you'll do like 1,250, yeah. like 1,300 bonus damage, and then you... We'll headshot them and they'll probably still live <laughs> no matter words right there 100 you know great card. pure unadulterated value <laughs> now has roll some extra ammo true. yeah god that card is so overloaded they really have to do something about that's <laughs> roll it's actually yeah. nuts it's so fun to play against them. i'm uh going to the notes by the way just to see if i forgot anything because i remember just it was countless didn't really uh, get fixed <laughs> the fixed bugs that didn't actually get changed at all. That's that's nice. Yeah, Excellent. That's great. Oh, bandless about to be smaller. Oh. And nope. Same got... size. No, we got Grok back. I think. Did we? Yeah, but his ult is literally a throw now. Have you seen it? <laughs> no. You move at like a mile an hour. It's slower than walking. Ooh. Have you really not uh... seen that? I haven't played against a Grok in a while. You actually move slower than walking. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I guess it's like, uh, it's we're like not your seeing any Grok. Oh, Koga. Koga. Master of Arms nerf. Uh, and the claw buff. I mean, claws are still uh, bad. Yeah, terrible. Uh, I think it matters, but it doesn't matter that much, the Koga nerf. Like, he's mm-hmm. not dead dead, but, like, he's definitely worse. Because, like... You still have a round, um, so it would be 111, right? If Or 110 if you hit all your shots, right? For what? For uh, the Koga nerf. So 
How many uh, bolts you have in your uh, clip, right? It would be one. Uh, it's right? seven. Yeah, if you hit every shot, but it's a oh, chance. One, it's a it's one. a chance. It could technically go forever. It could be more. It could be less. Yeah. So it's like so roughly one roughly one oh five. Adrenaline Junkie's gonna be the new the new thing. I, uh, I don't even know, cause like if you still pocket that, that's still going to absolutely shred people, right? Yeah, yeah, but I I think Adrenaline Junkie being able to get that extra bow burst heal and the extra agilities and stuff, I think will probably be better mm -hmm. than uh, Master yeah. of Arms. Yeah, I think it's it's maybe like a sixty forty for Adrenaline. I just haven't seen enough Adrenaline um, mm -hmm. recently. Not many people have ran it. Koga's kind of been untouched, really, this patch. Uh, yeah, I mean, at least. the pocket the pocket strat isn't really as good as, good as, it, was, as it was yeah. before. Uh, it's a lot of your eggs in one basket, and you can you can deal with it. So, like, nerfing that strat, like, I, I think it's good, because I, I thought that was really just, like, unhealthy, having this character that was just, like, ah, like, doing, you know, whatever yeah, he wanted shooting. as long as he wanted. Yeah. yeah. I remember I, when he first came out, I was like craigazing to Ricotta, like, what the fuck? He does so much damage. What is this hero? He's gonna be banned every game. Yeah, no. And no one ever fixed it. It's like Lex 2, you know? Everyone was so hyped when they first saw the character. They're like, high skill cap, aiming DPS. This is what Paladins needs. And he just never fixed. Unfortunate. Because why, why play the high skill cap uh, champ when you can play the lower ones and get as much value? Yeah. Uh, Lex buff. Uh, it doesn't feel... I mean, like, it's nice that they're giving him more range. Rel I mean, relatively. It, it's not what the buff was, but it's realistically what he got. You know, less accuracy, loss as you shoot. Because Lex's kit, I think, is really good for, like, a mid-range to long-range flank DPS. But they decided to just throw that in the garbage and make him just a... Bleh, like, spammer. So if they, if they revert his guns back to how they used to be, I think... He'll, he'll, he'll be playable. I mean, he used to be my favorite flank. Lex has been bad since I started the game, and he's always been bad, so, uh, we'll see. They need to do a decent amount to make it viable again, I mm -hmm. think. A little bit more than what they did. Definitely. Definitely more than what they did. Uh, the Domba bug fix. Domba actually got decently, uh, boosted here. Because Domba got... Makoa bug. The, the balance change we deserve. <laughs> I actually got my Makoa ult siphoned today. Siphoned. I heard the wah, wah of the siphon every time I swung. I was so confused. Wah. Yeah, this this, gen, this this terminus was just siphoning on this Genos, and I was just feeding his siphon with my Makoa swings. I think they just changed how it regs in general. What? Yeah, I was I was a uh, I was I was I was a big tilt. I was the big tilter when that when that one happened. I never knew that could happen. That's been a thing, but I was really close. I've never had that happen before. Because yeah, Makoa, no, because Makoa Melee is supposed to register the same way as Term Melee, and you can't siphon Term Melee. Wow, I never even thought about trying that, so I mean, I don't know. Goes. You can siphon Term Melees? I have hit plenty of people. Yeah, Melees go through siphon. I have swang on so many terms in my pub time. I've had a lot of term be term action. You go through reversal too, yeah, yeah. You can melee through reversal, I can tell you that for sure. I mean, I think we gotta believe Jake. I heard he's the uh, Terminus one trick, so. <laughs> I, I, I'm basically, I was the, the first, I had my term at such a high level <laughs> when he came <laughs> out. I grinded him so hard, dude. I had him at like level, uh, I had him at like level, like t original level 10 or like level eight to like eight to 10 on the, on the PTS. When he was super bugged, and, like, you could be invincible for half the game. <laughs> or invisible, I heard. Uh, that was something that happened, too. People would whisper you, be like, uh, <laughs> excuse me, but, uh, I, I can't see you. <laughs> like, Oops. <laughs> might be, might be. Oh. Try to jump off the map, you, you can't die. <laughs> Just glide across the floor. Let's see, what else? The Damba got 20 more HPS on Gord. I, honestly... Nike, I like I like seeing those nice round sixty ticks on uh, on the gourd rather than the fifty six that it was before or whatever. So uh, nice round like, numbers uh, on Damba. That's the real buff. Players with satisfaction uh, for those tanks right there. Players with OCD can now be healed by Maldamba. A uh, hidden balance change. 
Uh, that's really it, though. The, the, in terms of the, the benefit, like, the actual impact of the changes, uh, only the Furia one was really super impactful. I think it's definitely made Ying and Damba a little bit more res desirable. But there's definitely, um, there's definitely comps where, where Furia will still be very good. And it's, she is still very good in general. Yeah, 100% so far. Uh, Alright, so, like I said, it's going to be a short episode. We can talk really quick, though, about the mixer change for the PPL, which I need to actually switch my scene to do. Is this two? Do I make it two? Yeah, I think I go right to four after this. Um, Facebook deal ended middle of the season? <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask. Like, I if you know, so. mid middle of the season? I don't know if they've been testing. I actually... <laughs> Well, it can't just be testing. You can't sign an exclusivity deal oh, yeah. with Facebook and then be like, uh, we're going to test Mixer for a week and we'll be back. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah, I, I still don't know anything. Which is sad, but I... All I know is Mixer really fucking good, I think, for Paladins as a yeah. e overall. Like, if he wants to develop more or develop faster, Mixer is definitely a step in the right path for me. I don't even think it's just Mixer. It's just yeah. not Facebook just not Facebook. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Mixer and uh, Smite, like, they've been having great fucking results with viewership. It's fucking amazing, actually. So, like, I just think it's really good for high-res to be going with Mixer. It's someone that they're already, like, have talked to and have made deals with, so I can mean, can only go up from here. There's also the, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we all hope, but there's also uh, the, uh, the fact that they can have, like, the alternate streams within it. Like, you could have, like, a, like a top-down or a POV, Mm -hmm. streams and stuff yeah. like that yeah that would definitely uh, help out I that's think, uh, it'll be get nice get people more interacted with like Paladins esports because like it, the Paladins viewership is there it's probably like, similar to what Smite like the player Smite player base and the Paladins player base probably pretty similar but the um, Smite esport has been going on for so long and there's so many fans of it that they just need to start like w focusing on the player base to start like watching professional games start appreciating professional games and have actually like good content for them. i i still it's don't know like... sorry you, you can finish I, but, yeah. oh is it okay uh yeah. i still don't know why we don't have like a season ticket like like smite has and like dota yeah like it, it just it, i feel like they're what's the downside uh it takes work to get started <laughs> i mean i guess <laughs> what's the downside to it once it's implemented i think is is the real question None? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it'd be a really good change if it would help out. Yeah, people, like, yeah. It, not only would it raise the... Yeah, there is no downside. Not only would it raise the prize pool, but people <laughs> will, like, be interested in who's going to win all this money they popped in, you know? Yeah. It's all, all positives, <laughs> no negatives. I can't imagine it won't eventually... We won't get the Ubisoft Paladins. So Probably not at the start, but maybe, like, throughout... No, we will get we will get POVs for Paladins. It's just called the regular stream, because <laughs> all they ever do is show POVs, ever. You can see POVs at land, yeah, just stand behind people while they're screaming. <laughs> yeah, just have a camera behind every single monitor, or like on the shoulder of every player. <laughs> Spec doesn't take up people. Yeah, and that's really annoying too. Anytime I have to run to the bathroom yeah. while I'm watching demos, I'm like, guys, who is gonna live forever this game? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get whoever I can before I have to run AFK. Uh, but yeah, Mixer deal, really good. Uh, kind of, sort of leaked, if not just because there was the, um, what is it? Kind of, sort of leaked just because there was the Mixer con skin. What's up? There's a con skin with Mixer. Like, really? it's not out yet, obviously, but it was data mined out of the PTS. Oh. I didn't okay. care about that one. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a leak. It was like a hinting towards, you know, mm -hmm. that it was a, it was a hinting towards of that. Um, but uh, yeah, mixer con skin. One thing that's coming. Also, next patch. What else is coming? Uh, the cyberpunk Koga and the Navi Damba. The Navi two, the two, Damba. the two that we know about. The general's Facebook skin is fantastic. You take that back. The color scheme is great. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely didn't expect it to. I, I expected them to at least finish out the season on Facebook. I, I'm really, I'm really curious yeah, as to why. I, I actually didn't think about it like that, but I don't know why that happened. Just randomly, oh yeah, we're on Mixer, by the way. 
The, actually, when did the first season of PPL start? That is a great question. That probably someone like Meta in the chat would know the answer to. Last fall. Maybe it was just the year ending. And it just happened in the middle of... Right about now. Yeah, okay. So this was just... I, and it's September 30th, right? Uh, so... It's just the year being up. Just really, really strange timing. Yeah, right in the middle of our season. Mm -hmm. PGS, too. PGS switched to Twitch recently, but I think the PPL uh, started after. It did, because P PPL teams participated in the first PGS. Actually, I, 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 remember losing to, I, remember, I remember losing to Wild Style, so... Who was Wild Style? Renegades. Uh... I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. First two PGS? Okay, I think I came in on the second one. PPL was in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is something that everybody else knew and I'm just making sense of. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I think, I think we yeah, lost yeah. to Wild Style. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was Swarm, which was Envy now. Yeah, I didn't connect those thoughts either. Yeah, but that's why, so that's why PGS stopped early. I went to Twitch and everything, and PPL is just ending now because it just finished. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that uh, that makes sense. So yeah, that's why we're getting it in the middle of the season, perfectly October second. Maybe I don't know if that's why they took a bye week though, because it seems weird to just oh, have it. Oh, might have. But but why? If you're cutting it off in the middle of the season anyway. I mean, they wanted a bye season. Maybe just. <laughs> what? Maybe they just wanted a, a buy, just, you know, take a break one weekend. Maybe. maybe Rude needed to go catch the maybe, dub. Maybe it's something. Maybe they want to try and like expand seasons or something for now on, and like putting in buys is going to like give teams more time to like basically like develop during the season. Maybe. There I feel like they might have said that. Hold on. I'm typing you something to you. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. Part of the schedule we give them for the season. Could be just for that. Maybe they knew this was coming in advance. Maybe they just wanted to have a break week. Maybe, maybe Coop just went on vacay. Who knows? Yeah. Either way. Uh, mixer deal. Very good yeah, for the, the PPL. Mixer, mixer deal makes Coop just got married? That's probably it. Okay. I was memeing about Coop going on vacation, but I guess that works out, right? If he's not here for that. Obviously, his I'm assuming his wedding was probably planned just as in advance of this PPL season, so <laughs> that probably makes sense. Uh, that's probably the thing that's it for Mixer deal. But one thing, now we are going to be more uneducated about this, so I think I need our, our friends from other regions to pop in and help. Um, there's like five PGS decider games this weekend. Like, like, five of them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, when I went to look it up, just to double check, did SSG and Rao already play? Because it says that they played, but Guima and Proerd didn't play. No, like, there's already results on the e the Gamepedia. That I was getting my info from. So, like, they're saying that the second game is already over? Yeah, but I know they shouldn't be playing until next week. So I was just making sure I'm not, like... Leak? No, they wouldn't play this early. They played, but no broadcast yet. But the results are already up on the on the site. They played this weekend, and they broadcast. Why are they broadcast on Monday? I feel like they would play on Sunday if the broadcast was Monday, right? If they're gonna be, if if it's gonna be played early, it would be played the day before, right? Are they working on the Sunday? To like. Well, I guess they would just do it that Monday. What the, is it usually played this early? Because why are the results on the thing already? I want to understand why the results are on, though. They're up. I guess they do play early. Okay. <laughs> I That wasn't... It's already on the site. I didn't know they played this early. So SSG... So yeah, SSG goes to land. All right, cool. The, BRP just played uh, on Wednesday, is Wednesdays, but it's played that early? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, sure. 
And they put the results on before they broadcast it? Only on the esports gamepedia. That's interesting. Maybe, maybe someone from SSG was like, oh, like so high. Yeah. They're like, we're going to land, boys. Put it on the site. Put it on the site. <laughs> <laughs> In Portuguese, yeah, of course. Definitely could have went down like that. Uh, that's possible. But there are still a ton of of maybe maybe. maybe. There's still a bunch of deciding games. It's crazy that all the deciders came up to, like, this week. I guess they, they just put the first seed against the second seed. Mm -hmm. Week three, automatically. Because the CIS... The CIS decider is this weekend. Is this week, excuse me. That's uh, B5 versus Armada. Because their last game was a 2-1. So I think if Armada wins 2-0, they go to land instead of B5. Because B5 dropped the map to... To them, in the last... No, to another team called Fiasco. Oh. Uh... So if they win 2-0, then, well, someone playing for two hours a day is not weird. If anything, the people that play for, like, eight hours a day are abnormal. Barring, the, at least in PGS. Mm. Uh, the second seed EU decider, I believe, is happening? I don't know anything. No, actually. PGS. No, I think. No, no, EU's decided. Who's going? For me it's up? it's gonna be Blazing Stars and Underrated. Uh, well, who's our also build teams? Uh, Hussars is Toot, Grafies, Sadzik, Kamaker, and Closer. They're now Team Cryptic. We don't need to talk about Cryptic on here. That might be another longer episode. Um, and Underrated is Zarini, Hayes, Second, Simsalu, and Ninosasala. Yeah, so I, I thought it would, this was a decider, but it, I, I didn't realize that Authority actually are not close enough to catch up. Uh, uh, underrated is 7-5 and five in map score, and Authority is 4-7. and seven. So even if Authority 2-0, it's 6-7 and seven to 7-7. Seven and seven. So yeah. Underrated would go. Mm -hmm. And NA is already decided, right? Uh, yeah, just the seeding, I think. If, if we lose 2-0, we can get second seed still. Really? Yeah. think okay. we are, if we get if we get a map even if we lose if we get a map we are first seed okay i mean first and second seed are pretty big right going into this land i would think yeah or i think uh, it's like the the second seed plays like fourth seed eu or something that would be uh rough one. And i forget what i forget what i forget what first seed, no wait is it second seed plays fanatic slash nip okay and first seed plays... I don't remember. Second seed plays third place NA? Oh, okay. And first seed plays the, the, the lower tier EU PPL, right? First seed plays number four EU. Okay. So first seed plays VP or Mouse. And uh, second seed plays... Uh, whoever ends up third in NA? RNG? Are they looking to be third right now? Right now they are currently in third. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's also a harder path beyond that, obviously, because of the seating. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so NA, e, NA game, all we all Ba has to do is take a map. Big Egos yeah. have to win 2-0 to get first. Yeah. Uh, Oceana has a decider, too. Uh, who, who, if Despacito... Really? not confirmed yet? If Despacito 2... Wait, no. Yeah, if Despacito 2 wins 2-0. 2-0 for 2. Ka Kanga. If Despacito 2 wins Timo over Kanga, they could go. They can still go. It's still possible. Because Kanga would be 10 and 3, and Despacito 2 would be. <laughs> would be 10 and 2. <laughs> Damn. That would be an upset of a lifetime right there. I just. Honestly, like, I'm rooting for them just because I want a team called. I want to meet the people that named their team Despacito 2, because we are clearly. How else are we going to find out but at land? <laughs> they're clearly, like, listen, they're definitely our brothers in arms, right? The stupid, oh, yeah. the stupid team name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brothers in arms. But and Despacito. But and Despacito 2. If we meet in the lower bracket, that is going to be the, the game of, <laughs> to end all game games. games. <laughs> if we meet harder, we'll go on. Actually, if, even, even if Kanga take a map, it's actually, no, never mind, it's not. It, it wouldn't be tough. Mm. The worst names, but you take that back about Buh. 
Oh, pretty, uh... oh yeah, and Zaga Talent only have to take a map to qualify over Burrito. Really? That's Zaga... actually crazy. What the? Wow. They, yeah, they, uh, they 2 owed them week three. So if they just take a map... Just saying that just doesn't feel right for me. <laughs> yeah. Like, Burrito not going to land from Zach. Like, like oh. Well, they made two roster changes. Yeah, but... Right? I mean, I, they were yeah. a pretty major roster change. But still, like... Was it just one roster change, actually? think they the core of the team. No, they just made one roster. Oh, no, 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 wait. They made two. Sorry. Yeah. Disregard me. One now. Since I got to... It was two. Okay. Yeah, Zero, Moondog, Snekas, Exterminia, and Zeta. They could show up to land over Burrito. Yeah. It's actually be... crazy right there. That's probably the biggest uh, PGS upset, right? So far? Yeah. I mean, like, are you trying to, like, else? actual upset in terms of, like, the this game, whole, like, game to game? Yeah, yeah, game to game. Like, them going 2-0 over her Burrito? You, you would think Burrito has, like, a heavy, heavy, heavy advantage in that region. Burrito without, um, Burrito without Hikate and with another roster change. They dro Fuzzy Logic, they Fuzzy, dropped, yeah. also. So, B Burrito with two new DPSs. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, you, you would think since they're, like, under an orc, though, like, they would be able to find, like, some of the best DPS talent, like, you would still confidently say Burrito. Well, they're not under, no, they're not Burrito anymore. They're no, they're oh? free agent boys. Oh, Burrito, yeah, Burrito yeah. dropped them. Oh, yeah. Ugh. We're just all referring to them as yeah, take your take your defeat drink. <laughs> <laughs> Burrito with Hikate lost O2? Uh I don't think so. Hikate came back to play against Automata Rain, right? Not against uh Zaga yet. Hikate didn't yeah, Hikate wasn't playing week three, but he's playing now. Uh, but yeah, so Zaga Talent have a very, very high chance of going. All they have to do is win a map. Just like how we have to win a map to get first seed. It's, it's actually almost literally the same exact situation mm. for them. Um, and then Europe is decided. It's going to be Clown Fiesta. And it's going to be Team Cryptic. And... Oh, sorry, no, no. I said Clown Fiesta, but it's their, their last place. It's going to be Blazing Gasaris, <laughs> who are now Team Cryptic and underrated. Um, yeah. Sis is still also in the air. Because Armada could, uh, Armada could still beat B5. Mm -hmm. that, again, and that would have to be a 2 They're still pretty good, though, right? Armada and B5? Yeah, their game was, their set was close. Uh, I didn't watch that first set. I was going to, but then just got occupied with something. Actually, it's crazy how important B5 dropping that map to Fiasco was, I think, too. Because now it's like... Because they are forced to 2-0, right? And that's the only way that they can make it? I think they could even drop a map and have it be okay. Really? If both teams would be 11 and 3. I don't know who would go then. They'd probably play another, uh, just be a 1, right? To decide who goes. Would, would that be what it is? I would think so, right? Because they would both be 2 1 versus each other? Right? Yeah, well, the, their record would be 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it would be 3-3 three, three overall. So, yeah, they would have to would play B1. But would B5 not go because they dropped the map to another team? Maybe? So, no. wait, but it, aren't the records the same, though? Because that means... No, uh, no, they would be 10-4. and four. Yeah, Armada would uh, go. Armada could even drop a map, I think. Because uh, Armada would be Armada would be 11-3, and three, and B5 would be 11-4. and four. They would be 10 and 4, I think. No, they'd be 11 and 4, assuming they take a map. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They got all Armada have to do is win. That's right yeah, all Armada has to do is win. Because oh. they would be 11 and 3 versus 11 and 4. Yeah. Damn. That map is actually insanely big. They dropped the map to a team that is 1 and 4. <laughs> that must hurt. Knowing that that one map could decide you not going to a huge ass land. Meta, did you watch that game? Was it like a cheese? Was it like a cheesy like timber pick or something? Oh my god! Imagine the oh! Imagine how! Imagine losing two one after winning the rest of the season and not going to land because you dropped a map to like the third place team on timber or something. Yeah, the two teams 
uh, oh, qualified or... Yeah, yeah, two EU teams qualify. Two NA, two EU, and then one from every other region. One from every other region isn't confirmed except for SSG, right? All the other ones... No, are... Southeast Asia is also confirmed. Okay. Because Southeast Asia, there's a Same team... Yeah. <laughs> if they show up, they're confirmed. But it's like Southeast Asia is already done, apparently. And it's... Mm. The, the top the top team is 6-0, and the, the second team is 3-3, so... Yeah. That one was basically confirmed from the start. The top team only dropped one map all season? To... Wolfpack. These are problems. All right, so if, if, the, if the Southeast Asia team doesn't go, it's the third place NA PGS team that comes, right? Or would it be the third place EU team, because they technically performed better? I mean, uh, if you look from past, um, I think you would go with the NA, because they always went with RNG, even though EU PPL would always have uh, better results, right? So if they were looking for the better team, they would have went to EU, probably. Well, I was just like, that's just like for ease of travel, right? Well, yeah. So you would just assume that would be the third PGS team. Yeah, play. RNG had better record all the times I got invited. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, they had a better record, even oh, though it was, a, a better but it was against different teams. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had better records, and that's why they... I thought they just got invited just because, like, they're NA. And it's just easier. So if, if it were going by the record, then I think it would be... Fuck. Actually dependent on this next week, right? Because Ferocity I mean has to be high, so... It would automatically... Would it automatically rule out NA and EU? Just, would they go by every single region? No, they wouldn't. They would only go by NA and EU. Most likely. Wait, that's so confusing. What? Since it's PGS teams, just put a buy in? Maybe. It's possible. Because it I actually have no fucking clue who would go. Huh. We're just talking, uh, Dithrona, we're talking about who would take the place of the Southeast Asia team if they don't go. Two Renegades. Dude, Renegades in the bracket twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, oh my god, it would be, uh season like season one renegades versus season like the current renegades like they bring in vandy and stormtroopy and all of them all to play the bond scott back to the main roster and uh, false split splice, split gets splice. <laughs> oh that would be a spicy one right there that'd be an interesting game wardium comes back to for <laughs> to ring for whatever so team his dog is his dog is finally all right no, the Danny team will go. Oh. Spice. Me, Neo, Waze, we're in. <laughs> Don't forget the Danny. Coming back from Call of Duty 4. That Blackout. That is a uh, team right there, Meta. That is a value Here. team. Alright, we've been memeing around. We're already basically memeing, so I'll just move to the yeah. Q&A. Because this is a short episode. There wasn't much to talk about. There really wasn't. So if anyone has any questions, just... Hit us with it. This is a, not going to be the disaster that last week was. Last week was fucking amazing. Why is Envy so good? It's a good meta for them. They put in a lot of work, and they prioritize team play, I think, higher than a lot of NA teams. I think they're really good because they have some of the best talent in every single role. That They've team. also been a team together for a good amount of time now, right? It's been since the start of this year, basically is when Rubu and Rock got onto that roster. Um, it also was just a really good meta for him, right? Like, Odd Tanks are really strong right now in the meta. They have fucking Rubu, so, like, they go hand in hand. Like, Rubu's an insane Odd Tanks. So, like, they're obviously going to be strong. Um, they're they're, they're really Rock strong Monkey's, in 2-2 two -two metas in general. Yeah. Rock Monkey also has, like, really good picks that are available right now, like the Cassie, Andro, Leanne. So, like, the, it's just a really good meta. Blasters are fucking insane. So, random news fucking insane. Like, everything is just going so well for them that they're just playing perfect with it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's just a really Last good meta. December. Let me journal. Last and, December? And they're good at drafting. Yeah, and they have meta push. The true chain reaction, the real chain reaction house. Why is Fnatic so bad? I think uh, they're not confident in their 2 2, which is the best right now. I, uh,. I actually think it's really good meta. I think that um, it just like it, it lowers the chances of the top seeded teams just knocking out other other like low tier teams that maybe would have a chance in like the middle. You know what I mean? 
I think it's good. I think what you're saying is good. Like, it, it lowers the chances of some team getting, like, Navi Envy in their bracket. Like, you know, like, like every, I mean, like, maybe they're coming in from a low seed. Maybe they just, like, they can't compete at that level. They compete a little lower. Like, just the, the odds of them getting completely bracket screwed are much lower with, with, the, with the way the brackets are set up this time. Um... I mean, I think it's good. I think it rewards you for actually trying in the regular season, right? It rewards you for going that extra mile, because, like... I mean, it just rewards you for playing good during the season. I think it's good. It also stops it from happening what happened last year, right? It would have been where SK actually got knocked out by a pure dude. Was that that? But right? that was... No, that was the yeah, that was the PWC qualifiers, but they lost later. Purity lost later to another team. Oh, they lost later. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, but um, I mean, it just rewards them for playing good during the season. It also does help out um, the like lower seeded teams. Like, imagine if, like, let's say Big Egos was going against Envy, or going against NIP, or going against Navi, they would almost have literally zero chance. It just wouldn't be. Content. Well, it's also be that's also because like the purity had a better chance against SK because that was only the first season of the PPL and the quality of play has dramatically risen since then. I think across the board, just just in general, the quality of play is higher. So like the odds of a purity SK upset, you know, top seed PGS beating top seed at PPL, are significantly lower than they were before. Why is Navi so good? Because they have Phoenix. Can't can't argue with that. Have you seen that man's hair? They got Phoenix. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see. How do we make rank not a joke? Uh, make casual not as good as it is. <laughs> I think you just. There needs to be an incentive to play ranked. There literally is none. There, like, there, no, there is, but it's just not great. Yeah, it's not good enough. I feel like there's like no reason to be like, oh, I'm a GM player. Like I'm good at the game. No, you're just. You don't get rewards for it. Like not many people play it. There's long as fuck queues, like, there's so many you, problems with you it. You play ranked because stream viewers prefer to watch worse games. For some reason. They like the draft thing, you know? Let's see. They like the draft. I, I guess. They could just ban the champ they don't want to play and then just play against worse players. Uh, I will get the Navi Damba skin because I already own every single skin in this entire game. And I will not... I will not not own one. I have so many items. My deal of the day today was three sprays. And I still got it. I've seen so many screenshots of just three spray sales. It's hilarious. Look, I think it looks good. Deal you can get with three sprays. I like how they put the... I got, I, I got it today just because I'm like, I, I have extra crystals. I'm like, I want to see what happens, right? I got it. I didn't even get all three fucking sprays. They only gave me two. <laughs> Wait, what? It was like the Moji Champion oh. spray, one of the Code Green sprays, and one of the card sprays. And I only, I didn't get the oh. Moji spray. Oh. 500 crystals for three sprays, and I only got okay, two. You should get back all 500 crystals. Put it in the port ticket right now. Then you do it on stream. It was on stream. <laughs> <laughs> what do they go on streaming scrims? I'm the biggest advocate of streaming scrims. Also, I haven't, um, I haven't seen the Navi Damba skin from the front. I saw it from the back, and I like the headdress. I thought it looked, from the back it looked great, and I'm gonna get it. Well, I use it. I like the Navi colors. You know, yes. um, yellow slash gold, pretty good color. Black also another pretty good color. You know, uh, I wonder why. But um. Dude, I want V. I want VP to win. Good one. I want VP to oh, win. Oh no! Stop, Chris. Because Every those colors it's so are cool. awful. They're awful, but it's I want to so wear bad. them. I want. I want to wear this to disgusting green and purple skin. Who thought of those colors? <laughs> Fire him. It's 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 like a tele it's like a telecom oh. business or something. Tilt, 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 tilt. Terrible colors. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm in on that. Oh, that snake looks sick. All right, yeah, I'm in. I might okay, just use the okay. weapon. I might oh, just yeah. use the weapon. That looks sick though. The skin itself though. That looks way better than the burrito that's one. That's a good looking skin right there. It's actually yeah, scary. It's actually scary how much better that looks than Burrito Shaw, where he's just wearing a t-shirt with sunglasses on. <laughs> it's, it actually is ridiculous how much better that looks. The trophy is the head, you need it. No, but I, I like I like the other voice packs, though, that's why. 
Let me see. Oh, he's on streaming scrims. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the biggest advocate of streaming scrims for PGS teams. Before the thing became a league. Like, I'll see if I can convince our team to stream scrims in the meantime. Like, between leagues and stuff. But, like... I don't want... I, 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 I don't think it's good to do it during the league with, with land at stake. But I think streaming scrims is fantastic because all the PGS is is to eventually get yourself into PPL, you know? Yeah. So. It gets people looking at you like... I mean, Presnick and me both did this for a good bit. Like, I think from, like... Worked for one of us. The, sec the <laughs> second week of January, I started... I think I started scrimming around the second week. Maybe, like, third week of January is when I started scrimming. And instantly, the second I joined Nameless, we all started streaming our scrims. And like that was something our whole team did, and I think we I did that from second week or third week of January all the way until like the start of March. It was something around. When did you join Tox? Right. Yeah, until I joined Tox, and I stopped streaming our scrims. Um, Nameless continued to do it with Hands of Justice. It's still something really good. It helps out the community, it helps out yourself, grows your name. PPL players look at those vods or like look at your live stream every once in a while. It's just a good thing to do. I think it's just a general, it's a net positive for the community and the streamer themselves. I mean, I got I got way more viewers when I was streaming scrims than when I wasn't. It's probably just because... A lot of followers, actually, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually, I got, I've gotten more recently, like, than I did back then. But I think that's just my base growing in general. Like, more more viewers, more Consistent people click in. Yeah. yeah. It really helped. It shows with Paladins, because once you hit that, like, 10-person mark, or, like, 10 average view viewers all the way, it just explodes, basically. And if you consistently yeah. stream, it just explodes. Because you're always going to be, like, in the top. first three rows. Yeah. And, like, people always click on you, especially if you have, like, GM or player or, like, Gangstars or Splice in your name. Or H2K. Start clicking. <laughs> H2K. That would be a lie, but... <laughs> I should not... On H2K. I was. X, H2K, X, Selfless, X, Gangstars, Chris. <laughs> X, O, W, Pro. That was a pretty one. It's so X for me by now, though. <laughs> god dude I, I love like when i'm in a chat and somebody i would like someone was trying to, to shit talk the game in betty's chat recently and i was i was there and i'm like i'm pretty sure i'm like the only person like i'm like the best person in this entire community for you to be talking to about this and then the guy eventually like eventually i talked him through it and i was like yeah i was a pro in, in this game and i played this game and i was like oh and then he just like didn't say anything ever again like <laughs> just completely <laughs> stepped upon do we know? Do you know how it's gonna be? It's gonna be just like direct purchase, right? Just like burrito shop. I'm assuming. Koga in a onesie with the NIP logo. I'd still get it. Yo, can I just say that the new Talus alt line is the worst, like ever. Uh, it sounds like gachi. It sounds like gachi I... base, dude. It's it's like. Ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually noticed that. I. So, like, I actually saw, like, two or three Talos games that was always with the new skin and the new voice line, and it is terrible. It is so loud, no matter where the fuck you're at, you just hear it, it's so, oh, god, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, god. Talos just nothing on the enemy. It'll be a chest with dot. Dude, don't, no, fan X, I'm getting a hot and bothered. Don't, don't work me up like this. Please. <laughs> I would buy that. Like an announcer pack or a faint or a voice pack for the Domba. Both great options. Announcer pack, Phoenix. I can get behind that. Announcer pack. I'd I'd be into it. That'd be. I, I mean, I just I just like using the off announcer packs. Everybody comes into my stream and they're like, "What what announcer pack are you using?" Am I, I'm like the only person who uses Ron Jobber. Yeah. No. It's a great voice pack. Yeah, that's. Uh gonna have to go with a no on that one but you know what you know what really sucks they didn't have it at land it wasn't even on the dev client it wasn't even on the land dev client and like wh who do i complain to about that excuse me you don't have my sarcastic announcer pack can i please have it it was like uh no <laughs> like oh okay thanks yeah that thing has been deleted yeah then he, then he looked at me like i was insane i was like i don't have the, my announcer pack's missing he was like who <laughs> Told Ron he didn't. He doesn't work there anymore, though. Get Thera. If it's big, Belgian gold next. Buddy, announcement is that actually coming? Playing for you. 
You know, I, I actually, I tried the Fire Razzle one for one game, and I immediately turned it off. Just because... Have you, did you, have you tried the Fire Razzle pack? I don't think I did. Every single OT, it just... OVERTIME! Every single one. No matter what. I'm gonna have to pass on <laughs> No, meta, it's in the it's in the battle pass. It's in the it's in the free version of the battle pass. Oh. So shit. I guess I have it. Cause then I haven't used it. I, forgot, I don't even know what uh Nether pack I have for right now. I have to check. I can't prove you wrong. I kinda just like ignore it. I'm kinda sad I missed the town crier. It's one of the few ones I ever missed. I paid Iris to move it from my account. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have Town Cryer. I don't know for sure, though. Town Cryer is pretty good. I need to get the Vox yeah. one. I have to play enough games before the season's over to get the Vox one. I think I had a pretty hair one for a good bit, but then I swapped. I used Rain Day until Ron Jobber came out. <laughs> because I... I, I the important swap. The important swap. And I, have, I don't think I've switched off since. I think I ran the Portuguese one for, like, one day, and I was like, why am I using the Portuguese announcer? <laughs> Like that one week where you're just on the rushing climb forever. I, I I only switched off because the new champ came out, and I'm like, I don't know what his cards do. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually kind that of. That is a great reason. I can actually kind of read the Russian one. Really, you're starting yeah. to get it. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I I might use the French one. You know, I, I I used to know a little bit of French right there. I can switch back to the Russian announcer. Listen, Russian client's great because of the numbers. They're better. It's the old version. It's like the italicized old version of the numbers. Um, but you can't, like, you can't read anything if you can't read the Cyrillic alphabet. You're like, what the hell is this backwards R? <laughs> oh, shit. I might have Vox right now. I, th I think that's the one I have on. Okay. Oof. He's faithfully stuck to the BK announcer? Probably. But he's not as good as the Ron Jobbert pack. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Charger. Do we do uh, predictions? We did that last week, Phoenix. We did it last week. Did it last week and looked in the VOD. And, uh... I think we, we, we predicted you guys to win. Uh, yeah. surprise. Yeah. Do a refresher? Um, I don't remember what I even predicted. Let's see. That's all you need to know? I, I figured. SK Renegades? I think I predicted Renegades? Yeah, we both predicted Renegades 3-1 or 3-0. Mm -hmm. I think we predicted SK to lose both sets. Mm -hmm. And... What else? We predicted Fnatic over Mouse, Nip over Mouse, Navi over Fnatic, Nip over VP. You did one crazy prediction. What was that? Did I do VP I... over Nip? Or was my NA one, right? What was my... What, maybe I did... What was, my what was my out there? one was RNG over G2. God damn, I'm just clicking on the second place. Um, I think your EU, EU one was... Did I do VP over VP over Nip? Was that it? But it was like a it was like a really balls out one. Like, I think it was it was just to be bold. I think it was VP over Nip. Yeah. I did. I didn't do mouse over anybody. No, sorry, mouse. <laughs> <laughs> mouse over VP. Positive because that's not till next okay. week. Oh yeah, that is <laughs> Oh No, I I, I, I did VP I did VP over nip. I did VP yeah. over nip. Mouse over liquid. <laughs> Mouse over liquid, hundred percent. That's my my bold prediction of the week. Alright, uh any more questions? Like I said, gonna be a short one. So hit me up if y'all have any more questions. I'll do one or two more, thank you. Let throw the host over to somebody. Spread the Paladins community love. Looking for who to host in the meantime. <laughs> that is trivia, but I don't. I would, I would totally overwhelm her if I hosted her right now. I could host bodies after this. Are yeah, there really? No, it's, it, it's... I'm not a fan of that. Where the top four teams are coming at a different time, not going to be interacting with our. Uh the plebs are they not are they not coming at that time well they come later i think or earlier but all i know is i think um 
All the qualifier people are together and the top four are together, I think. Yeah, can you guys come to Cowfish this land? Please, somebody? <laughs> it's like my favorite restaurant in all of Atlanta, and it's always like, I always ask around, like, who wants to come to Cowfish? And it's like, not a single person ever wants to come, dude. It's so good. It's so good. Trust me. Go cowfish, dude. It's so After good. Nobody, oh, it's closed at that point. Is it yeah. Korean barbecue? No, it is burgers and sushi. <laughs> it's burgers and sushi. That really doesn't mix, though. That's like too often. You expected. say that, but you haven't been to Cowfish. It's it. Uh, you can get the like, best best value, right? You can get a bento box. Comes with a slider. Three three rolls of sushi, your choice, uh, and then edamame, fries, and Thai sweet cucumbers, all in a box. Not sushi. No, so you got you could just get a burger. You could just get a burger. Like it is literally, it is little oh, Rubu. Listen, the you can get. It's, it has the best burgers and simultaneously like the best sushi I've had. Yeah. Like going. yeah, like so if you don't like sushi, just go there, get a fucking meaty burger, it's like some amazing fries, and nice if you don't want burgers, burger. just get sushi. It's really good. Good beer too. Uh, do I think any PGS team will make it over people to the quadfest? I hope we will <laughs> over somebody. I don't know who. I'm hoping we make it far enough, but um, I think there's potential. Yeah, if you would. Huh. I the only teams I really see is possibly be. I haven't looked at the. I don't know any other teams. I've only looked at any. Including international B5, if they go, or Armada, I think have a good chance because B5 is you know people coming down from. Uh, people coming down from EU PPL, so that's still people PPL experience. Um, I'm interested to see how Zaga does at LAN. Mm. I, I am interested to see how they play, because it's going to be their first LAN. I mean, LAN jitters might screw them. Yeah, and it's definitely going to be different from what it is online, right? Mm -hmm. Just imagine, because they always have high ping, right? Like, our yeah. server is, like, really rough. Even the LAN North, even LAN North, I think they got, like, 100 ping. So, like, imagine going from 100 to 0, like, their blaster must pop off, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Must be popping. <laughs> we'll have to see. Moondog at land. Yeah, he's gonna nut. The quantum <laughs> nut unleashed. Um, I mean, I'll be brutally honest, I don't expect Southeast Asia to do well. But, yeah, I mean... No. I think they're the worst region out of all of them. I think so. I think there was a Lex picked in the final, in the final episode. The final episode? The final, uh, like, qualifier <laughs> round. That's yikes. Uh, I expect Sis to do pretty well. I expect Sis to be better than previous PG, uh, previous lands, <clears throat> in general. Great game shit talk. Let's go. As long as they're, as long as they're a PGS region, yes, because it it helps the scene survive there. It's important that it's there because it's still a scene that it's still a competitive scene for Paladins, you know. They can grow over time, but it just hasn't happened yet. Sorry, you're gonna have to drive there, so you can just drive everyone around. By the way, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, anybody who's going to uh, do I think you should retire? No. Anybody who's going to uh, to LAN, I might I might stay and go to HRX after if I can get my way into it. So, if anybody wants to uh, if anybody wants to house me, that's staying at HRX. I can pay. Yeah. I've already been declined yeah, by Envy. Feels I bad. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't, like, at Meta Pusher. <laughs> you know, probably should have said. Sleep at Dethroner's but... place. I'll sleep in Dethroner's car. <laughs> Actually, I have. I guess I have friends I could ask in 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 Atlanta, but. Me and Rock sleep naked. Oh. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> 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 Let's see. I don't know how SSG is gonna do if if they're not if they go to El Selfo's house and just talk to the family living there now. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> God, uh, I think I don't know if SSG. I think they might do slightly worse than before because apparently they were they weren't like grinding as much. Uh, I think Oceana will do about the same unless it's Despacito too, in which case they take the whole thing. It's four teams making it out of qualifiers. Yeah, it's easily possible yeah. that the PPL teams could eliminate each other. 
honestly, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, like, a PGS team could just qualify over it. At least three had to be beaten for a PGS team to make it. Remember, they can beat them. So they can beat each other and then bump into the PGS team later. Yeah. Big egos at LAN, LAN jitters, or pop off. Definitely leaning towards uh, LAN jitters, 100%. Because it's going to be the first LAN for T Mac, Edge. And well, T Mac and, and Edge, yeah. Yeah, and Watkins, Neo, and William have all been to LAN. William has had good results. Neo, and. Eh. Watkins, I have no clue. Yeah, Will's been to a few Watkins. Just went to the one with Kill the Heal. Uh, I've heard some things about his land experience with Kill the Heal. Heard it was rough. Yeah. And I know Neo. I'm assuming it's better now, but he he was very nervous at land when he played with us. Like I remember him. I remember him showing us him hand, his hand like shaking. That's rough. Before one of our earlier games. I mean, he went to land two times with you guys, right? Three times, technically. Three. Well, Vegas, 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 Atlanta, Atlanta. Hopefully Her jab jab fucked a hooker. Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, especially if he doesn't pay. <laughs> no comment beyond that. Um, <laughs> God. You're so nervous you're used to it? Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I think everybody... <clears throat> excuse me. Envy's the only one... Ha- I heard they weren't confirmed, but, like, I think they're confirmed for at least top C, like, at least going, right? Navi, too. Both teams should be, both Navi and Envy should definitely be confirmed for going to HRX. Mm-hmm. Should they host a line in Europe? I mean, they, they host them in, AT, in Atlanta because it's just, like, easier for them. Because of the uh, facility, right? You need one more set? So, okay. The, the problem with them hosting a land at Europe is that they're using like their own already set up like place and like this is their yeah. like this is where they're centered around Atlanta so like it's just easier for them to set it here it saves them money and all that shit makes it also it's right next to a, a great airport like the mm-hmm. ATL airport takes things from everywhere mm-hmm. it's uh you're going straight back to the hotel turn the TV on dude I love sitting in there my favorite was when, like, everyone was, like, dead silent watching the match, and then the Smite console guys were like, yes, yes! <laughs> like, while the match was going on, we're all just sitting there like, our grand finals are happening, we're all just like, oh, good play. <laughs> the Smite console guys like, wow! <laughs> I remember that. That was, uh, that was very, that, something, that was something else. Gotta get that. Gotta give tacos to the uh, guys who work at Skillshot again. I've done that. I've done that both both times I've been there so far. Keep up the record. Who does Big Egos bring to land as sixth? Quick. Spuds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think we have to end this now, guys. Great time. Oh, <laughs> that, Good. that was a great question right there. <laughs> uh, Meta, let's. I think missed out on the drama. Meta, let's say uh, 100. I, we want to, and then zero percent chance that uh, it actually does. Dude, I swear to God, there is the no. There is quick. There's just one room that doesn't have it. Uh, even though the boxes for the monitors are in the room, they just don't have the six. It's just sixty hertz. <laughs> Practice room. The fabled. You won't get a scrim. <laughs> room because <laughs> people are just like i'm in four uh, would anyone like to take our spot <laughs> we we'd like to pass to another block please <laughs> we'll wait god <laughs> yeah we'll wait, wait they were in there for two lands straight like from mm-hmm. spring into summer they like they were in yeah the same- it was 60 hertz in that room both times well it wasn't someone's set room the room cycle every time like they, yeah. they, they change who's in there but still for that many months Monitors. Yeah, well, there was no 144 hertz in the practice in the scrim room, right? Before, but now there is in all the in all the practice rooms and the match rooms, except practice room four, the fabled practice room four. One of the rooms was also really hot. Like, there was like really hot. I, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was like room one for some reason was just like stupid hot one day. <laughs> It was like why well, it was like every room was fine every other day, but then room hot was just room one was just like way too hot. 
Anyway, we should kill it now. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been quite a meme. A meme and a half. I haven't eaten today, so I should probably go do that. So we're gonna host. Really? Yeah, I had a yogurt before I started streaming. Oh, wow, that's great. You know, that's... <laughs> like, a, like, like a cup of yogurt like this big. I started streaming at 3 p.m. <laughs> well, this is, hey, how do you think I'm losing weight, guys? Anyway, I will host bodies. Thanks Already for- Already decided, Jesus I, I decided before. Oh, I said it. Did. Yeah, I said it. Definitely I heard you. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Like I said, shorter episode this week, even though it's an hour and a half. Um, you can shout out somebody if you'd like to, Bunny Wall, if you're setting this up. Um, this place is amazing, and uh, have a good night, everyone. Especially when, you, Phoenix. When they scrim. Yeah. Have a good night, Phoenix. Phoenix, can I host you? Host a Throner? Is the Throner streaming? Or are you just memeing on me? <laughs> Host Betty? I, she would get so overwhelmed. I already talked to- I already mentioned this before. Oh. 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 I think- I think sorry, Betty- I, I think Betty would explode. Oh, was I muted? Oh, sorry. Am I cutting out? Hey, oh, sorry. The elusive serpents. I- I-, I... Okay, Do okay, it? Okay. I already said I was hosting bodies, so I'll host bodies. It, we have another episode bodies, next week, though. Please. See you guys next time. Hopefully. We'll see. We might have an elusive cowboy here. Yeehaw. See you guys next week.